Hey everybody, this is Collector Dude. I have a lot of uh, books that I've been picking up for the past week because Half Price Books has been having a sale and uh, 20%, 30%, 40%, and 50%. And there's two books I missed out on, but I, I didn't want them really, so I wanted to wait. But I probably should have got at least one of them because I don't know when the next time I'll see them. It was one of those big giant Marvel books. It was like $99. And I could have got it Sunday for half off with a 50% off price. But it was a really big, thick Marvel book from uh, Alex Ross, and it was they were sealed shut, and it was two of them. And I'm thinking, you got to be kidding me! They were they were look look nice. I've never saw them before, but I try to find them online. I don't see them, but somebody else got them. But uh, hopefully, I'll find them again. I found some other stuff though that I bought for half off and everything, which was cool too. So, but I'm going to show you these books that I picked up, and try to keep the video short so you can see what's uh, going on but the half price books they really put they just put out a whole bunch of stuff and just and just kept putting it out and I'm like and I went back and asked to look at, I got a few books that I asked about uh, one of these books I got that I asked about was this one here uh, I said hey can I look at the, some of the books you have in the back and the girl said yeah come back at six o'clock and I'll um, go up back there and get them for you and I went back and she got them for me and I got two only two books but this is one of them so I paid a dollar twenty five for this so first appearance of Kate uh, Kate Kane, it was really cool. So we got one of that, and I'm just trying to put them in boxes. But then this is from another one that I got at another Half Price Books. So that's my second copy there of this week, this past week. But I think I got about three or four copies all together, at least three, I think. But I'm like, wow, I'm gonna try to sell them or use them as giveaways. Uh, then I got Action Comics Superman number 473. I thought this was cool. Um, because I think these are all Kryptonians coming after him. So I paid a dollar for this. They had a lot of Superman stuff all for a dollar. They were selling their Legion of Superheroes with uh, Superboy. Like they were three or four dollars each and everything. I'm thinking I don't want to pay that much money for them. But if they were something really special I would have got them. But, and they were kind of beat up too something. And eh, I'll get just get some of these other ones. And the Superman they had a lot of them. So I grabbed them all for a dollar each. Here's a, a Action Comics 1015 with uh, Naomi in it. I thought that was cool. That's a nice cover too. Sorry about the glare. But, cool. Got that. Then I got another Avengers number one. Really nice. And like I said, most of these are half off cover. Two forty nine for that. Um, like I said, they've been, they put out a bunch of books. I was like, wow. So, Asriel, book one. This is new. I paid $2.99 for that one. Half off the cover. And this was an older one. Batman $3.89. I got that for a dollar. And they had like a clearance drawer. Because I was looking at the top stuff. And then I looked to pull the drawer out. And all these books. It was like hundreds of books. Without uh, any bag. They weren't in bags of boards. <laughs> and I couldn't believe what I was finding. No bags of boards. And I was finding key books that they were just trying to get out and I was like you got to be kidding me wow so um Bat half price books is awesome I got a Batman 43 I thought it was cool because it had a bombshell variant cover so that's I paid $1.99 for that that was cool uh, and then I got Batman 46 nice $1.49 and I got this one uh, this one didn't even have a price on it. And I asked about it, and they said, hey, yeah, that Batman 77 with the meet the new dynamic duel, a dollar. I was like, yeah, I like that. And there were a lot of books that somebody came and just must have bought them, read them, and put them out. But some of them still got the, the uh, digital copies in them. So I'm thinking they just wanted to buy the books and read the books and then sell them and... Maybe get something that they wanted at their store, but wow. So I got a lot of uh, House of X and Powers of X by that as well. Because somebody just told them. I'll show you, show you, show them to you. Here's Batman and Robin, the um, comic book motion picture adaptation. I paid a dollar for this. That was cool. Movie wasn't great, but it's just cool to have that and everything. But it, it was okay when you look like you're like... Real cheesy and everything with the lines of Arnold Schwarzenegger and everything like that and all other stuff and so and but wasn't the best but it's okay. 
Uh, I saw this one, Batman Claws of the Cat Catwoman, Batman Tarzan. This is issue number two. I couldn't find any more. Or I couldn't find number one. I found some other ones. But I thought that was cool. That's number two. Here's number three. Got that glare going on. And here's number uh, four. Thought that was cool. Then I got a Blue Beetle number one for a dollar. And another Catwoman uh, with the skin face, Catwoman 13, New 52. For dollar forty-nine, and Captain America annual. This is one of the ones that I got that was a dollar. That was on the clearance drawer, and Captain America annual number eight. Got it for a dollar. The Mike Zek cover. I was like, wow. Then I got this. Uh, got this for a dollar ninety-nine. Creepy, uh, starring Vampirilla and Eerie, nineteen ninety-three yearbook. And I got one of these. I just picked this up yesterday. DC Universe Rebirth, number one. I got this for $1.49. So they just keep putting these out. And I got Darth Vader. I got two copies of this Darth Vader, number two. I got these for $1.99. And the one's $2 and one's $1.99. They always talk about how it's weird how they some people price them strictly. And they don't do the $1.99. But some of them price them, price them at two buck, two bucks. So they said uh, they're going to work on it, but it doesn't matter. And I got the second print, or third printing. It's got a green background, number two, for $1.99. That's cool. Just a second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, Doomsday Clock, number two, with Lex Luthor on the cover. Paid a dollar for it. It was in a clearance, clearance drawer. And this was different, so I said, let me grab it, because usually when stuff's different, you don't, you don't haven't seen it before. Um, Duck, Donald Duck and Friends, uh, 355. So I got this for a dollar. Yeah, it was in the clearance drawer. So I think that's going for a little bit of money on eBay. Because it's just a different cover. It kind of reminds you of the Catwoman cover that Adam Hughes did with her holding the sign up. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Here's Earth, Earth X Sketchbook by Alex Ross for a dollar. Thought that's cool. I always like Alex Ross, and I always like the sketchbooks. Eclipse number one. This was a good story. For a dollar, dollar ninety nine. Uh, they got a bunch of Elf Quest, but I didn't see number one. But I got number two, and it's got a bend in it. But this was a uh, this was a dollar. So I thought that was cool. I picked that one up. This one I picked up. This was the second one I picked up that uh, week. With what is it? Week. 52, 52 weeks, week seven with um these two together. I got this one. I picked this one up, and this was the other book that I got when the girl went back and got the books for me. Fantastic Four number 371. It's a white cover. It's embossed and everything. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm gonna use some of these. I got a few of these I'm gonna get, and I'm gonna use them for giveaways. The second printing is all red. So I'm gonna use those for giveaways in the contest I got coming up. And speaking of that. I got the addresses of everybody from my 450 contest. I got two people I got to get. Uh, and I, I texted them and uh, on my on the video, and I went to their uh, pages, and I, t I wrote something. I watched one of their videos, and I let them know about it. Hopefully, they get send me their address to my Gmail account, and then I can uh, uh, send them their prizes. But um, I'm going to um, have another contest coming up pretty soon. And this time I got I got all my stuff that I need to get stuff out quickly, so it won't be a wait this time. This one was really long, but I got Flash number ninety one. I got two copies of this one. I placed the other one somewhere else. I can't find it. I got a bunch of books over here, so I can't find it. But um, I got two of these, and I wish I could have found the first appearance of uh, Impulse, but they didn't have that there. But it was coming up around that time. Uh, but I'll, I'll keep digging up. Eventually find it. Uh, Flash number one eighty two. Awesome cover by Arthur, uh, I mean, um, how did I forget his name? Um, what is his name? Brian Boland. How did I forget? Yeah, I see it on the side. Look at that. That's worth a little bit. I paid a dollar thirteen for it. And I got the first appearance of the Trickster in here for 183 for $1.13. 
Thought that was cool. Another Brian Bowling cover. Then I got another number one, the Flash, for $1.49. And this is cool. Generation Next, X-Men uh, Deluxe Age of Apocalypse. It's the Ultimate Edition. I paid $2.99 for this. It's the gold version with a gold cover on it. I was like, wow. So I'm trying to see if you can see the, the glare there, but just I paid $2.99 for it. I was surprised that it, um, they had it in there. It's, you see it's a pretty pretty thick book. But um, it's going for a little bit online. So Green Goblin number, um, what is this, number four? It's just Scott McDaniel, some Scott McDaniel's early work. I got number one just the other day, so I can put with it. I paid $1.14 for this one. Then these were cool. When I saw these in the uh, um, <laughs> the drawer, I was like, really? And I just kept pulling them out. Gumby's Summer Fun Special. This is uh, yeah from Comico. Arthur Adams artwork. And I paid $2 for this one. And then what do you think was right behind it? He had another fun special too. He had winter fun. <laughs> it's number one. And I paid two dollars for this. That was cool when I saw that. I said, wow. Not bad condition either. Some of these I may get graded. I have never done the grading thing yet, the CGC thing. But some of the ones that I'm binding, I think I'm going to um, start doing it. I got to look into it, get them all packaged up and everything, see how to do it, go to the site. Maybe become a member because I see if you subscribe, you pay a little bit less. I'm not sure if that's, I guess that's something if you are going to do it all the time. So if I pay, I'm going to be doing a lot of books. So this one was cool. I am Groot, number one. I thought that was cool. Paid $1.99 for that. And then I got a Harley Quinn. This isn't the lenticular cover, but it's uh, 20, it's Detective Comics 23.2 with Harley Quinn on the front. I paid $1.49 for that one. They got one that's a lenticular cover, but that's just a straight. So I'm not sure if that's newsstand or just a straight like cover B or cover C or something. This was cool too. Hellboy, the Crooked Man, number one of three. Mike McDola and Richard Corbin. I paid a dollar for that. That was in the markdown section. This is going for a little pretty good amount of money because wasn't that in the uh, movie part of it, or like a part of the movie or something that they came out with? That's cool. This one, Hellstalker, I only got this because of the, the artwork's not bad in it, uh, number one, because it's got a signature on it. I paid $1.13 for this. Well, it's got a, a signature on there by the artist and writer, I think. I thought that was cool. I like signature copies. These were like all together and they were signed. Hero Hourly, uh, 21 pulp, but it's issue one for both of these. So. I thought it was cool. It's got the signature on there. I got this one and this one he signed. So that was cool. And I only paid a dollar for them. I think it's two dollars, so I bet each copy for a dollar. They were packaged together. Then this is what I'm talking about. When I went and got the house books, they had House of X. Uh, this was the Magneto classic one. The action figure one. And I paid a $2.99 for that. That's that one. Then I got, uh, this is number, that was number one. This is number two of House of X. I paid $2.99 for it. Really great condition. They still got the uh, stickers on them for the digital copies. And this was number uh, three of House of X. I didn't read the story yet, but I, I can read it now for half off cover. I was like, wow. And one of the guys that told me, like I said, half price crooks. He said, man, you got to get, he said, you got to get the story. It's really going good. He says, selling, it shot up in price right away. And that was a couple of months ago. And here we go. I find them a couple of months later at the half price bookstore, marked down for half off. Because I was like, I've been cutting back on my new stuff because it costs a lot of money. And I've been saving by buying these half price books uh, at a lot cheaper prices. So I'm thinking I'm going to keep doing that. And some books I will buy new, but not all. Most mostly I'll be bound doing this half price book stuff, but uh, depends on what the book is. I got Incredible Hulk number ninety two, Planet Hulk. This I, this is my second or third copy. When I see this, I always grab it. That's pretty cool. I love the artwork and the coloring. Everything I paid a dollar for that. 
And these were all together. I got like a set of three that were two dollars each. Justice League number one. It was like a uh, it was a pack of three. They said one through three. So they have five ninety nine. They got one, two, and I got two copies of number two because I saw them separately. And I got three. They were all taped together, and I just separated them, put them in their own bag. And I got another copy of number three. And I got two copies of four as well. And I see some of them were going for a little bit of money online, so I guess it depends on the story, that, uh, what's going on in the story. That makes it pretty cool. Plus, I, the uh, Jim Lee ver versions of those are cool. I got one of each of those. I would like to get the pencil versions, right, which you can get on mycomicshop.com, 24 to 60 bucks, depending on what book it is, everything. So be cool the, the joker one sold out really quick <laughs> as you as you know and i gave one of my joker copies the color version as a gift or as a prize on my channel so i'm going to be doing some more stuff because i got a lot of great stuff guys and girls and everybody who watches my channel Com um, like i said once i get this one done i'm going to do more because i'm coming up to 500 and remember i'm going to give the uh marvelocity book away i when i reach 500 subscribers but i'm going to do one for 475 i think something like that but here's Lazarus number one. I did a reading of this. I got a dollar forty, dollar forty eight for this. Is weird. I did a reading, so you can check out the channel. Maybe I just did voices and stuff like that, and some sound effects for it. It's kind of cool. And this I thought was cool because this is like I think this is the inspiration for um, Immortal Hulk number one by Alex Ross. I got Marvel superheroes featuring the Incredible Hulk number fifty nine. So it's Marvel superheroes number fifty nine, the Monster Unleashed. You know the the uh, Immortal Hulk cover. Look at that. This one, the cover's detached. I got it for a dollar, and I saw it. I said, hey, cool, but the cover's detached. But that's like the, uh, I think that's the inspiration. That's him coming out of the ground. So Alex did the real version, a realistic version. Cool. But now I got Marvel Fanfare number 20. I thought that was cool. So, hey, you know what? I've gone on longer than what I thought I wanted to do. So like I said, I'm going to try to do just 15 minute videos, but that went to 17 minutes. I'm going to stop this and I'll do it again. And I'll make them shorter so you can watch them real quick and move on. But uh, thank you very much for watching. That's uh, part one of my uh, Half Price Books haul and everything. And I, I, I forgot the number. It's in the 40s, I think now. But uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to do another one right after this. Just uh, stay tuned and look forward to it. And like I said, I'm going to be doing a contest so, and I'll talk about that later on. But you guys have a great day and collect to do this out.